Right, you're ready now. No, he's not ready. Right. By Wigan standard, last season wasn't the greatest, was it? Uh, the ending, no. I think, um, yeah, the way we, we fizzled out a little bit towards the end was, was disappointing, I think. And maybe a few years, few years down the line, we look back on winning the World Cup Challenge with a little bit more more of an achievement than we did this season. We knew it was a big deal, but I think being at the start of the season, yeah, it seems a long, long way to go now. But yeah, this, the end, um, not being not being at Old Trafford is, is always going to be disappointing. You seem to have more injuries than um, other clubs as well last season. Yeah, we, yeah, we had our first year. Um, I think the middle middle part of the season, yeah, we, we we got quite a lot, quite a few of the lads who were out for the season as well. So there weren't there weren't the troops coming back at any point. Uh, we got a couple back towards the end, but a good number of lads was, was done for the season. So yeah, that was that was tough to take. But hopefully they'll come back fresh this year. It was almost like new signings for us. You've admitted that last season wasn't the greatest. What are you going to do to put it right for this season? Um, the end the end of last season, uh, I think we we was out. The last regular game of the season, and I think we are the boys were still in for about two weeks after that, which is probably the first for us. We normally last game of the season, see you in see you in four weeks, but it's probably in another two weeks after the season. Individual meetings, team meetings, um, one on ones, all that kind of stuff. Again, absolutely grilled staff and debriefs. You name it, we did it, and it was it was all about making sure we we got to the bottom of why we didn't play well and who didn't perform well, who needs to be better and. That was done at the end of the season, and hopefully that when we come to the start of pre-season, everyone was everyone was bumped straight into it, knowing what they needed to do, knowing what the process was to do better. And um, yeah, it's probably one of the best best pre-seasons we've had, and everyone's fit, healthy now, and ready to ready to go. So you just got a two-week break then? No, we had the World Cup, so we got a little bit longer. But no, the lads the lads were putting a lot of pressure at the end of the season, and um, it was good. People got people got told they haven't played well, and. Um, all they need to buck up, they need to be better, and yeah, I think everyone took it. Everyone shared their views on everything, and, and then yeah, we, we enjoyed a bit of time off, and come back in ready and hungry to work. So that was the message from the um, Wigan hierarchy then: buck up. Yeah, but not even from the hierarchy. I think it, that come from within. That come from Wayne. Wayne kind of looked at what him and the staff do. He wanted to do things better. Players, players took what took the criticism, and kind of I think the players knew anyway. Um, we haven't been good enough. Um, so I won't say it even come from there. I think it come from within, within the group that we, we needed to do better this year. What's your pr predictions for the new season? Taking on board that a lot of people are saying St Helens will come good again, and there's Castleford and Leeds, and obviously Wigan, the the team that everybody expects to do well. What do you think is going to happen? Um, we we can't really control what anyone else is doing there's, until we see a ball kicked and a ball uh, a game played. It's hard to tell who's going to be good, who isn't. But as personally, we're just we're just concentrating on what we need to do. We've got opening game against Salford, then we're, we're, we're taking a game on the road over to Australia. So we've got a pretty tough start to the season. But we're we're just looking forward to game getting back to playing well. Um, we feel we've got a good enough squad. Uh, we've got good enough players. If we if we look after our game and play well, enjoy our rugby again. Then I think the table will look after itself. You got some good young players coming through as well, haven't you? Yeah, we have. We've got we've got a lot of young players. Year on year, we, we, we promote a lot of academy boys, and then then boats who are like 11, uh, 20, 21, they start pushing for spots, regular spots, and brought a couple of new fellas in, in Serge and, and, and Gabe Hamlin, who, 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 look, who look the part. Uh, so, yeah, we've lost a couple, but I think the squad as well is looking pretty reasonable. And finally, of all the players you, you played against uh, last season and, and previously, who's your greatest rival? Who, who do you really not dislike playing against? Oh, Wigan's, I think Wigan's rivals will always be St Helens. Um, the Derby games, Omar, are where they're always, they're always the best games to play. Anybody in particular in St Helens team? What are we all like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they're all good lads, but when you put a shirt on, you, 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 you're carrying a badge for Wigan, they're carrying a badge for St Helens, so you get stuck into each other. Smashy. Yeah, great idea, wasn't it? We're on.